I have a problem with this. Yeah, there's lots of cool options about the Bronco, but there's also one thing I don't like about the way that it's built. I'm gonna share that with you right now in the DIY solution that we just came up with. Me and my dad, anyways. Here we go. One of the best features about this, I actually love that about the back part of the soft top. So very cool option. What I don't like is if I wanted to sleep in the back of the Bronco, I have this probably four or five inch gap there that is unlevel from where the seat folds down to the cargo area. So my problem is that I need to get it level so that way if I did want to sleep in the Bronco, maybe on a road trip, I could make that happen. Here's what I did. Okay, and now for the solution. Check this out. I just spent the, the day with dad coming up with a solution for the fact that this is not level. I was really determined to find a way to where I could make this maybe a more comfortable sleep if I decided to use that. And looking for a way to level this out to make it more comfortable to sleep in, I had to be careful because I got to make sure I still have access to all my tire care here. This is where I keep the jack if I get a flat tire. I also have an emergency roadside kit there, like jumper cables and some other odds and ends, tire repair kit, uh, some tie down straps, and then also my air to reinflate my tires after I air down. Um, I'm actually looking at a way to modify that to make it a little more easier, but for now I'm keeping it inside this compartment. So I, I wanna make sure I have access to this area. Um, but yet I still want to be able to be able to lay flat, not have that little drop off in the, my lower back. So here's what we came up with. We built a little platform that's going to go into the back here and I'll show you how that works out. Uh, but because of that being on an angle, you may not quite see it. It's not straight down. There's a little bit of a, of a pitch to it. So it's slightly angled. Uh, so if you look, on the side here, we angled this the same, and there's a little bit of an overhang here. That's gonna allow it to slide right up against this perfectly, an overhang on this corner here to kind of maybe give it a little bit more support on the, uh, on the actual platform itself, but still make it a tight fit. Everything we made was custom fit for this, so I wanted to minimize gaps. I'm thinking if there's less gaps, there's probably less road noise, so there won't be as much rattling, bumping around, maybe things dropping down in the corner. So let me show you how it fits in the back of the Bronco. All right, get rid of this and this and that. So dust in here. Someone needs to clean their car out. It's ridiculous. So I'm going to grab this platform and I'm going to put it right down here and then it slides right in and right up against the back seat perfect fit you can see it's it's fairly tight on the sides now there is a little bit of a gap here i can barely squeeze my hand in there so it's it's pretty uh pretty tight but the carpet goes all the way down the side. That way, maybe it doesn't scratch us, scratch the back of it up. I did notice the plastic in the cargo area. It does scratch pretty easily, so not a huge fan of that stuff. But it left me all of the storage area down here. As far as my tire repair area, check this out. Boom, right there. So if I needed to move a couple things around to where I can still access it, I can. And then right there it is. We also put a little bit of a rail system here. If you look on the two by four, we kind of notch that out a little bit. That allows it to slide in, pop down, and then a perfect fit. So it's not gonna bang around, make a lot of extra noise. It fits really, really, uh, it's actually, it's extremely fitted. I can actually slide my recovery gear underneath and that allows me to have quick access and not have to dig everything out that I might need to help get unstuck or help unstuck a Jeep. But soft shackles, 
no problem. Voodoo recovery kinetic rope, no problem. It'll fit under there. I'm gonna need two hands though. This is kind of a process for this one. See, perfect fit. The Ford latch has a giant bump out right here. So it did make, it did make a little bit of an issue in trying to get the door closed. So I actually had to take it a little shorter than what I wanted to. I kind of wanted it out to right at the edge of the carpet, but we couldn't do that. Otherwise the door wouldn't shut. Uh, outside of that, it looks pretty flat. I haven't tried it yet. Pretty flat. In fact, oh, my windows are down. I was going to take a nap. This is actually pretty daggone comfortable. So that's the latest build for my new Bronco. Uh, just a simple solution to get the back a little more level in case I wanted to crash in it versus set up my hammock. I love sleeping in my hammock, but there might be times, I'll be honest with you, when it's wet, I hate ripping down wet gear. So if it rains a little bit, it'd be nice just to crash in here and not have to mess with all the the uh, the tarp and the hammock and everything else. So um, definitely a nice option. Or maybe if I go on a long road trip, this might come in handy. So let me know what you think in the comments. Good build, bad build. I'll tell you, I think it's pretty well bomb proof as like everything my dad builds. Uh, totally cool working on a project with him as well. Uh, and actually the design couldn't be happier. So let me know what you guys think. Till next time.